In this video, I'd like to talk about plotting numbers on the complex plane. And the complex plane is similar to the XY coordinate plane. For the horizontal axis, we have our normal numbers, or we call this the real axis, which usually we just abbreviate as RE. And like I said, these are just the normal numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. And we have the negatives to the left, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. And the main difference is the vertical axes here. So this axis is the imaginary axis. And for this axis, we will usually just abbreviate that as IM. And for this vertical axes, instead of counting up like one, two, three, and so on, we're going to count up in multiples of the imaginary unit. Well, remember that I, our imaginary unit, is just the square root of minus one. So one up in this vertical axis, this is I. Two up is two I, then you have three I, four I, five I, and so on. So it's just multiples of this imaginary unit. And likewise, counting down this one below tick mark, this would be at minus i, then minus 2i, minus 3i, minus 4i, and so on. So it's very similar to the xy plane, except for the vertical axes, where instead of counting up by numbers, we're counting up by multiples of that imaginary unit. So for example, let's say we have the number 2 plus 3i. The way to plot this point is to first move to the number 2 on your real axis, so right here, and then go up or down, depending on the sign here, to your imaginary unit here. So we go over 2 to the right and then up 3 in the imaginary direction. And so this blue complex number is right here on the complex plane. Likewise, if we look at another example, let's say we have minus 3 minus 5i. So we start with our real part. We're going to go left three units. We're going to go to minus 3. And then for the imaginary part, we're going to go down 5 in the imaginary direction. So we'll go down to minus 5i. So we go minus 3 to the left and then down to minus 5i in the imaginary direction. So this point right here, this complex number is right here on our complex plane. So every possible complex number, a plus bi, is somewhere on this complex plane, where a and b, those are just normal numbers. It's just for our imaginary part that it's going to be some multiple of i. And for all of these example problems, we just need to plot the points. And remember, the regular or the real numbers, so let's say we have, as an example, just the number 2, these are complex numbers as well. They just have 0 as their imaginary part. So the number 2 is just going to be right here on our complex plane since we will not go up and down in the vertical direction because, like I said, we have zero for our imaginary part. So the complex plane contains all of the normal numbers that we're used to. It's just now the real numbers only take up one line in an entire plane. And likewise, if we have a purely imaginary number, like let's say minus 3i, this number right here has zero for its real part. So we won't move left or right when plotting this point. We're just going to go down three units in the imaginary direction. So this point will be right here. And I didn't draw it, but the number two is right here on our plane. So for this problem, we need to plot four minus five i in the complex plane. And to do that, we're just going to go over 4 in our real direction, and it's positive 4. 
and then we're going to go down 5 in our imaginary direction since we are subtracting 5i. So over to 4, we go right 4, and then we go down 5 units in that imaginary direction. So this 4 minus 5i is right here on our complex plane.